Howdy everyone, it's Sam. I hope you're doing really well. If you're new around here, I hope I can get you to consider liking the content and subscribing to the channel. And if you are a regular around these here parts, thank you very much for the continuous support. There's been a bit of player movement up at the North Queensland Cowboys over the past couple of days. And the big news finally was made official today, about half an hour ago. Mr. James Tarmow, who made his debut in 2009 for the Cowboys and played 170 odd uh, first grade appearances for the club, is going to be making a return in 2023 for one year only. Uh, well, maybe he might grab an extension if he's if he does play well and uh, convinces Todd Payton to re-sign him again. But anyway, James Tarmo is going to be in uh, North Queensland Cowboys colours again for the first time uh, since 2016. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. He was just about my favourite player before he left to go have a very successful stint at Penrith and uh, then the West Tigers as well. Really lo looking forward to seeing him go around again. I think the leadership is, is going to be great for us. Yes, Jordan McLean and James, uh, uh, Jason Tamalolo are great leaders in the forward pack in their own right. But James Tamo, um, as exclusively as a prop, um, I think he's going to bring great leadership considering we've, we're, we're going to be losing Tom Gilbert um, and a couple of other players as well that was announced today. Um, also uh, officially revealed today, Emre Pere, who's been at the club for a few years now, uh, Kane Bradley and uh, Brendan Fry are going to be shifted to the Gold Coast Titans. So those three players, um, two of which uh, have only been on the books for about 18 months or so, are now going to be shifted to the Gold Coast Titans. And Emre Pere, who did uh, have a first grade debut with the club, um, is uh, getting shifted out to the Gold Coast Titans. So there's a little bit of depth reduced as well in the pack. But then again, there was a signing made a couple of days ago as well. Jack Gazeski from the St. George Illawarra Dragons. He's also played for uh, South Sydney and the other club I'm forgetting the name of. Manly were in Gassi Eagles. Um, he's played over 50 games of first grade. He can slot into the second row as well, maybe even lock at a pinch as well. Um, and I do remember his time more so at Manly, in particularly his first year. I do recall him having uh, some pretty good games. Uh, but he, overall, uh, Jack Gazeski is a player whose pattern of style, pattern of play, um, is not that I'm all too familiar with, but I'm always excited to see brand new talent uh, come up to the Cowboys and have me study them. I'm, I'm really excited to see how uh, Jack Gazeski goes. Will he be a part of the 17 game day squad? Maybe. I, I think there's a huge possibility there. Um, but the overriding news, though, is that James Tamo uh, has been uh, re-signed uh, by the North Queensland Cowboys. So I'm excited for it, man. It's it's going to be it's it's going to be a good signing. And yeah, he was just about my favourite player uh, before he left to go uh, play for the Penrith Panthers. So um, just wanted to update everyone because I feel like there's been a lot of news um, about the Cowboys player movements for the past month or or so or thereabouts. Anyway, and. Um, with look, it's it, it's a subject that I don't want to talk about too much. But given that now Luciana Leilua is not going to be playing until halfway through the month of May, which is just about half the season, um, the signing of Jack Gizeski and the leadership of James Tamo, it, it probably it couldn't have come at a better time. To be honest with you. Um, with the disappointing news of Luciano Leilua. So um, thank you all very much for the continued support um, and uh, look forward to more content from me in the not-too-distant future. Thank you all very much. Adios.